Hey gang, Bison here. Just a few thoughts on the uh, three videos I made on my 72 hour bag. Um, just to answer a few questions. And, and again, this goes, you know, I hate to be your pain in the ass and rant, but just to go back what I said originally, you know, I did answer a lot of the questions in the videos I already got. I was asked a question uh, by three or four people what type of bags these were. It's the Eberly Stock Half Track, and then the attached pack is the Tactical Tailor Operator's Removable Pack. I was also asked by four people, why do I carry two stoves? Like I mentioned in the videos, I carry two stoves because, again, if I'm traveling with somebody, one could be boiling water just to uh, purify water. One could be boiling water or heating something to eat or purifying water in two spots for several people or to fill my canteens or Nalgene bottles, what have you. Um, the other question I was asked by several people, which I did not answer, was why multicam? Good question. I apologize for not bringing it up and mentioning it. There's a lot of videos I, I really don't make or don't post because there's a lot of stuff I just, you know, I, I don't share everything. We all need to keep our secrets, but... I chose multicam because me and my buddies, we've field tested a lot of different camouflage patterns. Um, and the one that works the best in all the seasons, in my opinion, is multicam. You know, we, we did a field test wearing multicam BDUs versus wearing OD BDUs, jungle camel BDUs, um, Vietnam tiger stripe BDUs. Real tree, a lot of different patterns, and the most difficult one to pick out in the uh, you know, in, in whether it's the fall or the spring was multicam. We would just kind of you know hide our packs along a trail and then kind of walk around and see if we can spot them or spot ourselves wearing different camel patterns. The, the naked eye can easily pick out um, a solid black object, a solid olive, olive drab pro object. But the multicam blended in beautifully. Now, the thing that really got my attention about this color pattern was I bought my buddy an OD pack, kind of like the Maxpedition that I uh, reviewed a while back. And I had the OD one. My buddy had a black one. And we got my other buddy's brother a Coyote tan one. And when we hit our bags and went back to go and find them, the last one we could not find was the Coyote Tan one. So that's what got me thinking about the multicam pattern. So I went with multicam one because it kind of disappears, in, in my opinion, um, in, in the different seasons, much better than much other camel patterns. Uh, the real tree patterns out there today are absolutely sick and they're insane. They're gorgeous. I just don't like that that hunter look. I have nothing against hunters or hunting or that pattern. Don't get me wrong. I'm not criticizing or putting anybody down. I love the real tree patterns, but it's not my style. I'm 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 you know I'm into the military stuff and, and I stick with this. If you want real tree or any other pattern, God bless you. You do what you want. You know I make these videos to express my opinions and talk about what I feel that works for me. I am by no means an expert and with that being said, I watch a lot of videos um, that I really enjoy, and I don't disagree nor agree. I just watch them because I appreciate and I respect everybody who puts videos out. I respect what you're doing, and I respect your opinion. And whatever works for you, God bless you, that works for you. It is not my place to criticize or leave nasty or hurtful comments. Um... You know, one thing that bothers me is the cats. Like, Edgar, come here, Edgar. Come up here. Edgar, up. See? This cat is one of the best cats in the world. He's like a dog. He comes when he's called. He's amazing. He's involved in everything. I get a lot of stupid comments about, you know, harm towards animals and, and stupid comments about Edgar. You know, I consider these guys my children. I love Edgar to death, and I don't tolerate abuse towards animals. Yes, gang, you know, if the time comes, we got to live off the land, we do have to hunt, we do have to kill, that has to happen. But unnecessary violence and hurtful comments towards these guys, I don't tolerate. Anyway, that's that. Back to the pack. As you can see here, um, I've got a waterproof 40-liter pack cover that I keep inside 
I neglected to show you that and I apologize for that. There's a lot to cover and I'm sorry. This is the pouch that it lives in. Okay, now the Eberly stock did come with its own waterproof pack cover that lives in the very bottom compartment. Um, it was too small to cover the entire pack with the tactical trailer attached to it. So I found this on eBay for like $28. Condor makes it. It's a 40 liter waterproof pack cover and it fits over everything beautifully. It does have elastic and it does have um, cord inside with, um, I forgot what you call it, but to kind of kind of pull it taut and tight. I don't know if you can see it here. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know what it's called. If you guys know what it's called, you can tell me because I don't know everything. This thing right here. To kind of just tighten it down. I have no idea what that is. It's crazy, right? Anyway, so there's my rant. I hope I answered a few questions. Why I picked the camel pattern, why I ch choose to carry two stoves, and what these packs actually are called. Um, coming soon will be an updated video on my get home bag. Again, this is the 72 hour bug out bag. Completely different from a get home bag. The get home bag on my last video was a 511 Rush 24 in black. That has been upgraded to a 511 Rush 72 in multicam. Now, just one quick note on that, the multicam pack that lives in the FJ, in case I have to abandon the vehicle and go, does have a 20 liter large Eastern Mountain Sports black pack cover. So I can cover the entire pack and it doesn't stand out as being a tactical bag in case I have to go on foot and, you know, evade law enforcement or unruly people, you know, in case we have uh, uncivil arrest or what have you. But anyway, that video's coming. So there's the final video on the 72-hour bag. I appreciate all the comments and the subs, and I love all of you, and we're a family. We stick together, and uh, any questions or comments, I'd love to read them. All right, gang, thanks for watching. Bison out. Oh, sorry, Edgar. Edgar out. Edgar loves videos. All right, gang. Bison out.